There are so many things fighting for our attention from the time we wake up to the time that we go to bed. The notifications in our phones, the apps that we use, favorite shows that we like to watch, our family, our work, and our world. We live in a society and time that we are always in a constant rush and busyness and fussiness. God has been nudging my heart around this topic that I want to speak on today, which is quality time. And it's the only asset for us to deepen our intimacy with God, for us to strengthen the bond of our relationship with Him. In every relationship at all on this horizontal plane, that we have it is quality time spent with the loved one or the person that we have this relationship with that makes the relationship become stronger and with god without us creating quality time with him our relationship with him will wear out yes he loves us yes he cares for us but if we don't initiate us going to him because he's always ready to accept us to spend time with us but we are the ones who are busy we are the ones who say that we have too many things in our hands i thought i knew what quality time is because i go to church because i serve in church because i listen to worship music because i pray because i do some of these things in a corporate circle and god is like yeah you listen to the sermon online it's building you it's helping you it's part of the thing that you need for this intimacy but still, I need a time between you and I. A quality time that you spend with me. And then you can know my heart. So in going deeper in this, God is not angry when we don't spend time with him. But we are losing out. We are missing out of the blessings of the favor. And due to the lack of us spending quality time with him, not just spending time, we have become unbecoming. Quality time is a time that you give your loved one, your child, your friend, or your spouse, or the person you're dating, an undivided attention. A time you spend between just you two. A time that your full attention is given to the person and they receive that full attention. And you spend this quality time with the loved one to show affection, to show priority, to show appreciation and to increase the connection and the intimacy in that relationship. With God, quality time is God's love language. He says, I love you, but if you don't spend time with me, how are you going to receive my love? He says, I care about you, but if you don't spend time to know my heart, you'll be constantly worried, thinking I don't care. You'll be constantly frustrated, thinking I'm not ready to help. And God is like, it is quality time that brings you closer. It is quality time with me, me having your attention. Because you are so busy, you are so full, you are choked up with cares, and I need your attention. You are so distracted, I need you to steal. So God has been speaking this to me because sometimes I find myself frustrated, confused, worried, and it's like it's because you have not chose the one thing that matters. In Mark chapter 1, it shows us how Jesus withdrew himself from the house to go spend time in prayer with the Father. The next morning, Jesus got up long before daylight, left the house while it was dark, made his way to give himself to prayer. Later, Simon and his friends searched for him, and when they finally tracked him down, they told him, everyone is looking for you. They want you. See the important part of this? Jesus knows that he will always be busy. He knows that everyone will always be choking him up, so he knew how to withdraw himself. He knew how to create that quality time. And in our world, yeah, we are so busy. We have so many things. We want to make the money. We want to make the fame. We want to go forward in life. But to go forward, we can't go alone. We need God to go. We can't run on empty. Because it's like a car that you want to drive to somewhere. You have a destination and you don't have enough fuel. It is only God that can fuel us up and fill us up to be able to do this life well. Of course, there are people that are trying to live their life without God and they are making the money. But if you were to dig deeper into these people's life, you literally see the anxiety, frustration, the depression, the worry in them. And God is like, I want you to have and enjoy life. And the only way to do it is if you abide in me and abide in you, you will bear much fruit. Which is in this life, we can do exploit. We can become successful and prosperous. But with God, that is the best remedy. But what does God gain in this? It is his delight. God delights when we spend time with him because he wants to daily load us with benefits. And this should be our desire that every day we try to prioritize him. It is his delight to pour into us. But do we give him room? The importance of spending quality time with God cannot be overemphasized. And Jesus lived 
as an example to show us this and even gave us an invitation. Are you tired, worn out, born out on religion? Come to me. Get away with me and you'll recover life. I'll show you how to take a real rest. It is very important that we find a way to get away from our distractions, to be with God, to spend time with Him as this is what will build us, transform and shape our lives to become better. Now here are points to note about quality time. Number one, quality time is not about performance and religious routine and activities, but it's about relationship. Anybody that wants to spend quality time with another, if they don't have a bond, a relationship, it does not happen. Quality time can't just happen because we just want to perform. So we come sit together for hours. Doing what? We come sit together the whole day. What are we doing? There must be a relationship. There must be a connection. And you spending quality time with God means that you have a relationship with Him that you want to strengthen. You have a relationship with Him that you want to deepen. And this relationship is not based on performance. It is not based on religious routines. It's not about that performance idea of being proud that you've been praying every day by 3 p.m. Or you've been praying every day by 3 a.m. It's about you knowing when I spend time with God, the benefit, the result that I get is my relationship with Him deepens. When I spend time with God, I feel myself full. It is that experience of every time I have with God, it's making me become better. It's filling me up for the journey. So every time spent in prayer and worship and study of the word of God should draw you closer to Jesus. The end of the experience should be that you are burning for more. You are yearning for more. You are enjoying this experience. There's a story in the Bible in Luke chapter 10 where Jesus visited these two sisters. But Martha was distracted by the big dinner she was preparing. She came to Jesus and said, Lord, doesn't it seem unfair to you that my sister just sits here while I do all the work, tell her to come and help me. The Lord answered her, Martha, my beloved Martha, this is with love. Why are you upset and troubled, pulled away by all these many distractions? Mary has discovered the one thing most important by choosing to sit at my feet. She is undistracted. I won't take this privilege from her. I so much love how our Lord addressed Martha. He is addressing her with love. And I love the reply that it tells her, Mary is privileged to sit here. Mary has chosen something that will save her forever. She has chosen something that will build and shape her life. And God is like, we will become undistracted in life if only we do the one needful thing, which is spend time, quality time. Him. That is where our distractions will go out the window. Number two, quality time is a practice. Quality time is not just like a natural thing that you just come to terms with. It is a practice. It is a discipline. It's intentional. It's deliberate. Whatever word you want to use, it is mindful. In Mark chapter 1, Jesus planned himself and withdrew before morning came because he knew he would be distracted by so many things. So he withdrew on time. And you need to create your own time. You need to discipline yourself to create time for God. And this is a time that you want to spend between you and him. As much as there are so many demands on us, there are so many things fighting for our attention, the one thing we need to do is to be intentional about creating quality time with God. You will never have time if you're waiting to have time to do it. That's why if you have a relationship, if you're not intentional, you see it way out. You find yourself frustrated and always fighting. Why? There's no quality time to get to understand each other, to get to talk about some of those things that is disturbing you and ask some of those questions. You don't have time to communicate. And for us to get to a place that we don't carry misconceptions, misperceptions about God, we need to spend much more time with Him. Be with Him. Know His heart. See how lovely He is. From the veil of religion to seeing him face to face. To know that he actually really cares about us. And he wants us to know him for who he is. In the scriptures in 1 Timothy, it said, Do not waste time arguing over godless ideas. Old wives tales. Instead, train yourself to be godly. Physical training is good. But training for godliness is much better. Promising benefits in this life and in the life to come. 
So spending quality time with God is actually you training for godliness. Just like you would get to the gym for physical exercise to train yourself and get your blood running, it's the same thing that you need to do when you spend time with God and create that intentional time so that you can commune with Him and fellowship with Him, whether in worship or in study of the Word or in prayer. And you know that this is all aimed at deepening your relationship with Him. You're not doing this based on a religious idea of let me just do it so that God will bless me. You know for certain that God blesses faith. God blesses one that believes Him. So all you need to do is to know that I want to deepen this relationship so that my faith in Him can deepen too. Number three, quality time does not happen in public. It happens in private. The conferences are good. The corporate prayer is good. The corporate worship is good. The time you spend with other believers are all good but somehow i feel like sometimes this could present themselves as distraction for us to have quality time between us and god individual time because sorry to say this there are a lot of activities church activities that are wrapped around our week and our day and if we want to insect our life and our daily activities into this we will find ourselves in this constant rush without having a single time to even rest or do any other thing then when do we create the quality time? So you need to be very aware and sensitive of the fact that as much as you operate in these corporate activities, you need to find time for you and God. The truth is that all these corporate activities should be a source of motivation and inspiration for you to create a time with God. That is the only time that you can unveil your heart to God, that you can expose your heart to Him and get to embrace whatever He provides for you. When you are in a corporate setting, there are some prayers you will not be able to pray out because there are people listening. You don't want people to eavesdrop on some of these things that you want to tell God. And that is why a lot of people do not even have a time that they are so raw with God to tell God how it is, how they are feeling. And you need to create this intentional quality time whereby you are not distracted with your phone, you are not distracted with any other thing, but you are focused, you are locked in. So you cannot replace your time spent in conferences, in listening to the word and other corporate setting with quality time with God. It should be a private thing, your private life. That's why Jesus said, when you want to pray, go into your closet and close the door and speak to your father who is in heaven and your father who sees in secret will answer you openly. That is that place. It's a place of quality time with God whereby you tell him your heart. So you need to withdraw yourself from all the chatter and all the noise. The scripture in Psalms 1 verse 2 says, Instead, you drill to God's word. You chew on scripture day and night. You are a tree replanted in Eden, bearing fruit every month, never dropping a leaf, always in blossom. This is what spending quality time with God does. That Psalm 1 verse 1 said, Blessed is the man that does not sit in the seat of scornful, does not stay with sinners. It's talking about what are you giving your attention to. But he said, instead of giving your attention to all these things that are not going to help you, but are going to destroy you, you should refocus. You are giving your attention to the word of God. You are meditating on it day and night. When God spoke to Joshua, he told him, let this book of the law not depart out of your mouth. Meditate on it day and night. Which means spending quality time with God will bring you to a place that you have sat long enough with him. So now you can be meditating on the experience day and night. You are hearing him. You are sharing your heart with him. Why? Because you have built that life in private. So now you can live it in public. So in conclusion, spending quality time with God is important to God because it delights his heart. But it is of our advantage. When we spend time with him, he is fulfilled as God because he releases to us and we are transformed as humans. And that is why Jesus was so happy when Mary was sitting at his feet receiving. The experience of Jesus with the woman at the well, the disciples came back and met Jesus and they were like, you were hungry, come and eat. And he told them no. And they said, who gave him food? He said, my meat is to do the will of my father. So him pouring into that woman as God in his capacity as God, made him filled. And for us to make God delighted like this, we need to get to have quality time with him, to get to receive from him and give him the opportunity to 
pour into us. God needs the opportunity to pour into us. And if you don't give him that opportunity, you will not allow him to delight himself in you. And you and I need to learn that we need to give God the opportunity to pour and download into us. Imagine how our lives will be transformed. Imagine the blessings that we can possess. Imagine how much exploit we can do because we commune with this creator of heaven and earth. We commune with the God of the spirit of all flesh. How wonderful. I hope this video has inspired you and is inspiring you still for you to spend quality time with God. Let me know in the comments how you spend quality time with God or what quality time with God to you means. I would like to hear your comment. Thank you so much for watching this video. I am Uwe Mepan. This is my YouTube channel. Do not forget to like this video, share it to others, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. It will be a pleasure for you to subscribe to this channel and keep up with the contents that are coming. And thank you so much to everyone that has been contributing, commenting, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you so much. God bless you. See you in my next YouTube video. Bye. Whew. Dude.